Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, and today we will be talking about fire books. More specifically, the limited sign-in event. Everybody has been getting fire books from over here, and there's a lot of players, like especially the ones that don't recharge or recharge too little, that they don't know exactly what to do with these fire books. So I'm going to give you guys my suggestions. So obviously this is focused more for those players who don't have many. Uh, so I'll give you guys my suggestions on what you guys can do with these fire books to just have a better enjoyment in your game. So, if you guys do enjoy my videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me even further, you can even become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button and get access by perks like custom emojis, member only videos and other stuff. So first of all, I want to separate this topic in like two themes, two levels. First of all, the players who are still in a low level, like around level 80, level 90, something like that, because level 90 is when you can get overlords for yourself. And then I want to talk about the players who are a little bit more later in the game. You guys are already level 100, you guys already have multiple legendaries and stuff, so you guys are a little bit more ahead in the game. So for players who are still somewhat in the beginning, level 70, 80, something, one of the things that you guys could possibly get uh, when you guys start your game, you most of you uh, go and open some capsules, right? And when you guys open some capsules, you guys get some legendaries and you guys are already playing your game with some legendaries. And so one of the things that helps you a lot, you guys have like a main objective that is going up in the arena, being a stronger player and trying to get that higher ranking to get more diamonds. But there's another way that you guys can still get more diamonds, more shards and still progress in the game. That's by being strong enough to kill the monster riot. And I believe that a lot of people don't realize how important this is or don't realize how important this this is to be able to do this so early in the game. A lot of people that play Monster Riot, they already know it's a hard mode to, to play like in your early levels, in your early powers. So one of the Pokemons or two of the Pokemons that really help a lot over there on the Monster Riot is Overlord Eon Duo. So one of the options, if you guys have really want to climb in the game, like get a bunch of diamonds every day, get a bunch of uni shards or shards every day, I would suggest you guys that uh, like change your books into uni shards and get uh, Overlord Eon Duo. That's the first suggestion. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people like listening to this right now and be like, yo Danny, you are crazy. Why would we spend books that are so valuable into like Eon Duo that we can get with the uni shards? So this is mostly an, a suggestion so that you guys can speed up your process in the game. Because while you get Eon Duo Overlords, which is Overlord Latias and Latias, you guys will be able to kill more bosses to get more uni shards. Though I even have a video over here, for example, this is like a video with an Eon Duo and you guys can see the power of this Eon Duo over here. It's 1.5 million. If you guys have around 1 million power, you already, on each Overlord Latios and Latias, you guys already can just kill easily big waves. This is like wave 55 that you guys can see over here. And I'm going to attack, like, I'm even going forward a little bit more. So you, you guys can see, like, wave 55, you are getting 35 diamonds for each kill in one shard. And even if I go a little bit forward, over here, what did I put? I even put the Marchetto. So Marchetto is level 1, he's not going to do any damage. Who's going to do most of the damage is the Overlord Latius and Latius. And if I come over here, this is wave 56. And I'm going against the boss over here, against the Curum. And I'm going to skip the battle, and you guys can see, I can easily kill the boss. So, Overlord Eon Duo is the easiest way to kill bosses in Monster Riot. It's something that you, it would generate a lot of diamond income for you guys every day. A lot of shard income, so it's something to speed up your game. But if you are a patient man, 
and you would want to save up those books for something better because usually people don't want to spend uh to change the books into uni shards just to get one pokemon faster uh you guys can save up the books later for two things one of the things is getting a uh, better overlord so i will make a video in separate about this okay like because i'm going to suggest you guys that you guys could get like better overlords for yourselves for 1k books or 1.6k books even which are amazing for like um low players but um the thing is i would have to talk about what are the best overlords like for these cheap prices in a separate video so one of the options if you guys want to be patient and get your uni shards in a different way and get overlord latios and latias later you guys can save the books for those pokemons or you guys can also just honestly save the books for strike cards uh, if you guys are already have like um, a decent legendaries and you guys feel that you guys are comfortable with the pokemons that you have just save your books for strike cards um, and probably get uni shards, um, get overlords with uni shards. Some overlords, like especially Eon Duo. Honestly, Eon Duo is one of the best things you guys can get in this game because it's so cheap in our version. So it's something that almost every player should have, honestly. So yeah, honestly, this is like my biggest tips. You guys don't spend your... Uh, books on resonance shards honestly don't spend your books right now on overlords that you cannot get you have to save up your books until you have enough books to get one overlord instantly or one pokemon that you want instantly or just i don't know the the <laughs> the previous suggestions that i gave you guys so okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that this helped you guys because a lot of players honestly really don't know what they should do they just spend on random stuff and then when they need the books and when they need the resources they don't have them so you guys have to think ahead you guys have to honestly just be patient and think properly before you guys do your actions and spend your stuff anyways this is it i hope you guys enjoyed i do have a link on my facebook page and discord server if you guys want to join and also if you need an account consulting just message me all the links are in the description below don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video